I think it's never too late to maybe find a new hobby, get outside of your comfort zone. During the pandemic, we've heard of people making homemade bread or mm -hmm. taking up the cello like our boss. Well, for a pair of St. Pete painters, putting brush to canvas left them with a lot more than new art. Yeah, here's our Malik Rankin. Down this hallway, just give it a try. You'll find Anita Choate's easel. And I really enjoyed it and didn't realize that I could have enjoyed it for many years before. The retired accountant and grandma took up painting later in life. And it gives me some uh, relief and some encouragement to know that, you know, I have a little talent. Ed Rinkowitz paints too. He lives at the same assisted living facility in St. Pete. He's a military veteran and granddad. It's never too late. They need to give it a try. These two 90-somethings put brush to canvas because classes were offered here. When I first retired, I took piano lessons and enjoyed that, which I had always wanted to do all my life and my parents couldn't afford. And uh, now it's the painting that I've got an interest in. They've gotten good. Both Anita and Ed were recently recognized by a national calendar for their artistic abilities. Their paintings were chosen from submissions across the country and are featured in the 2022 Expressions calendar. At any age or stage in life, both painters agree the best time to try something new is now. Very much. You can get lost into your paintings and time just flies. Uh, eventually I purchased my own uh, Equipment, a big customer at Michael's. <laughs> <laughs> well, both Anita and Ed are working on their next pieces of art, ready to present them in their next art class. And Ed doesn't sell the art. Instead, they give it to friends and family so they have something to remember him. Oh, by. I love that.